everybody, it's Marcy, and today is Wednesday. Um, today we're going to make something that sounded so good. And as I was getting it ready, I started thinking, oh, I should use this, and I could use this, and all these things. But right now I have to open up. I hate opening these things. Never liked Jack in the Boxes as, as a kid, and I just hate these things. So you get to watch me open it. Okay, I'm alive still, so. Um, okay, so. Today I'm gonna make some cheesy pretzel bites. Now, all you so easy, I saw this recipe, I don't even know where, but um, I've got all these different ways I wanna make it. So you take, um, obviously, the uh, canisters of whatever kind of biscuit you want. Um, oh, I should probably have a plate for this too. That's okay, I got some. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down because it's really easy and it's gonna be really fun because I'm gonna do a bunch of varieties here. Uh-oh, that's boiling over. Stop boiling over. That's for a little bit later. Okay, here we go. Um, well, let me make sure this is in the camera. Okay, I've got um, uh, a bunch of the biscuits. And what I'm going to do now, whoops, dishwasher did not run last night, so I'm going to use this. Okay, cut it in fourths. And I'm just gonna show you one, and then um, I'm gonna do the rest off camera and show you these. Take uh, one of these, flatten it out as much as you can. If you wanna roll it out, you can. I mean, come on, how hard is this though? It's not so hard. Okay, um, take some cheese. Uh oh, now my hands are a little greasy from that. Ugh. Okay, this is not opening for me. <laughs> okay, take some cheese and put it on the inside of this. Okay, I'm not gonna get a whole lot in there. Um, yeah, we're gonna dump some of that and put in another one. Okay, so put it in the middle Wrap it up really well. You don't want any of the cheese leaking out or sticking out like that. Okay, it's all covered. Roll it in a ball. Um, and then take this ball and we're gonna go right over here. And this is water with a little bit of baking soda in it. We're gonna drop it in there just for a couple minutes, not a couple minutes, just a little while. And really, um, you really need to, I mean, don't do this one piece at a time, it'll take you forever. Okay, and then that's it. We're gonna move that to over to the pan. Here, I'm gonna finish doing these. I'm gonna do these three right, or this, this whole thing right now. Um, and I'm gonna use all cheddar on this. But the other thing I was thinking as I was coming up with this, or as I was figuring out how to do this is, oh my gosh, what if you use cream cheese on the inside? Wouldn't that be great? Or um, port wine cheese. Yum, I love this stuff. Or um, you could do, um, uh, what was the other one I was thinking? Oh, Provel. I talked about Provel last, or this last week, I guess it was. Um, you could do Provel. Any cheese you want, um, you can do, and it would be fabulous. Okay, we're going to get these done really fast, because if I learned anything teaching, it was that really you should do um, one job. So cut all these up, flatten them all up, and then add the cheese. Okay, so this will be enough for these. Ah! Okay, pinch it shut, roll it over, whatever it takes to just make sure the cheese is on the inside there. Okay, and we're gonna roll it. Make sure it's covered, it is. This one. This stuff really stretches. As long as you don't poke a hole in it, you're usually pretty good. Okay, lots of cheese in there. Okay, I don't see any poking out. So now I'm going to take these three 
no holes, anything like that. I'm gonna drop them in the water and let those go for a minute. And while that's happening, I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work. Now these are oversized muffin cups. I don't think you need them oversized. I think just regular is absolutely fine. Um, here, while that's doing that, I'm gonna start cutting up some more for the other ones um, because I am so excited to try these as cream cheese and um, the port wine. Just pick your favorite cheese. How fun is that? Oh, these guys are done. Okay, that one's starting to open a little. Okay, so I'm gonna put three of these. Remember, it was four for one biscuit. I'm gonna put three of those in there. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more cheese. Now, if you're using cream cheese or the port wine spread, I would not put extra in here now because it'll just like make a big mess and get all over. Okay, get my last one, put it in there. So it's sort of like a combination of monkey bread except it's not sweet. My kids think that monkey bread doesn't count unless it's sweet. Uh, monkey bread, pretzel bites, muffins, whatever you wanna call it. So now what I'm gonna do for this is you can sprinkle some coarse salt on top if you want. Um, if you wanna do an egg wash on it, it might make it shinier. And then I'm gonna cook it at 400 for 15 minutes, but I'm gonna get these other ones filled up too so that we can have all kinds of different ones. And I will show you a picture or something of it when I'm finished. Thanks for watching. Anybody who still wants to help with the teacher's um, candy or uh, teacher and hospital candy, please let me know. Um, just email me. Thanks. Or message, whatever. I don't know. Call me. Bye.